More Letters from God and His Christ Unparalleled December 26, 2011 From the Lord our God and Savior The word of the Lord spoken to Timothy For all those who have ears to hear Sons of Jacob, grafted branches of Israel, disciples and servants of Mashiach, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, Have my sons begun to wane? Have my servants' eyelids grown heavy as they wait, while watching their every expectation pass by? Has my little flock broken faith with their Lord? while they sit upon their thrones of selfishness, holding fast to their own arrogant expectations. Have they given up because they are disbanded? Behold, I walk in the midst of my every flock. I am passing through the multitudes, even now. At this very moment, I am peering into the souls of every man, woman, and child. And what is this I see? Among my beloved, doubt, fear, feelings of loss, a return to selfish and perverse desires? This should not be. Behold, it shall not stand. For I am come down, and with me shall the faithful depart, and every innocent child. They shall all pass through the gate, when I sound the trumpet and give the shout. Yet my people wane, and my servants break faith, though the clock is near to midnight. Return to my love. Abide in my mercy. Receive of my glory. For this is but the beginning, the beginning of the end, which shall bring forth the new beginning without end. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Servants, stand up! Blow the trumpet of alarm and war, the trumpet of my fierce rebuke. Do not cease, but increase by measure, and blow hard upon this trumpet, and do not cease. For that which has passed before your eyes shall also increase by measure, and the nations shall falter, and they shall break. Behold, all people shall surely stumble. For those things which have come upon the earth already were but the beginning, a small shaking to move the people, a light breeze to bend the branches, a small stream overflowing its banks to arouse all these sleeping children. And though many more will now turn against me and blaspheme my words, I shall rise up and pour upon this multitude double, and double again upon every scoffer, according to that which they have spoken against me and my servants. For I am the Lord, and my anger cannot be turned back. It is set, and must be poured out. For I have looked upon the hearts of this multitude, and upon the heart of every scoffer. They will not turn. They refuse to depart from their wicked speeches. They will not turn back from their plans, which they have plotted against my messengers. Therefore, I shall slay them. They shall die by the sword, by pestilence, and by plague. Even famine shall overtake them, as their riches pass from them in one day. And those who escape the sword shall be given to the beasts of the field. And those who hide from the pestilence shall be given to disaster. And those who run from the plague shall be caught by calamity, leaving them broken beyond recognition. And those who survive the famine, holding fast to their rebellion, shall not survive the consuming flame. I am the Lord. And those who escape all these things shall be delivered, yet so as through fire or by the blade. I am the Lord. Yet I have indeed reserved to myself a remnant, and these shall be spared and hidden, even in the midst of unparalleled troubles. For they have been chosen to be taken through. 
Thus, as it is written, so shall it be. Such as are for death, to death. And such as are for the sword, to the sword. And such as are for the famine, to the famine. And such as are for the captivity, to the captivity. It is time.